There's a lot to unpack in this video, so there is timestamps in the description. Okay, so there's a lot of controversy around Epic's new update. Also, by the way, if you don't live in North America, then this doesn't really affect you, so just go check out one of my other videos. Anyways, in the new update, Epic Games added a Central North American server. <clears throat> the reason why this is so controversial is because they changed the way how tournaments work. Next season, they are forcing NA East players and NA West players to use Central servers for tournaments. Also, majority of the people who play Fortnite in North America lives near the coast. This means that most NA East and NA West players will be on extremely high ping, while people are closer to the central servers will get near zero ping. <coughs> Here's a map I made of where all of the North America servers are located on like a map. So the server that's like the, the server that's closest to where you live gives you the lowest ping, and that's most optimal for you. But if you're playing a tournament, it'll force you to use the <coughs> the, the central server, so you're going to get much, much higher ping. But even if you set your server to NA East or NA West in the Fortnite settings, it doesn't matter since the game will automatically redirect you to central servers when you're queuing in for a tournament. And this is really bad, especially in laggy endgame situations, you know, with these moving zones and these pack type players note as a reminder this only affects tournaments and not other game modes so other game modes like it will be perfectly fine it's just for tournaments uh, this problem is so bad to the point where even the big clicks is considering moving to texas in order to just get lower ping uh so here's a clip i found Man, I woke up today. I realized my comp career is over if I don't move. If you guys didn't know what happened, East servers and West servers are no longer a thing. It's Central servers, bro. I'm looking for houses in, in, in Dallas. I bought a penthouse in Jersey. And now I have to make the decision. Do I sell it before I even moved in? Do you know like, how bad this is, chat? I'm on 50 ping! This next part of the video will go very much on detail of this change and why Epic decided this. Um... Yeah, it is important to also note that this change only goes into effect next season, not this season. And Epic, you know, if enough people, like, you know, dislike it, they might just not do it. But, you know, that I highly doubt that. Um, and yeah, like I said before, this only affects people in North America. To a lot of people, this change seems completely unnecessary and a total net negative for the game. But a lot of people don't understand the full context. I think the reason why Epic Games decided to make this change is due to their AWS servers and also the ways the way that earnings works and how, how earnings works, that system, and the budget of tournaments and stuff like that. First, I have to explain why Fortnite might have wanted to add servers in the first place in order to understand the first the full picture. You see, Fortnite has actually has a lot of pressure, more than you would think, to add more servers. The main reason for this is because, you know, more servers equals better. And also because they have most of the resources to do it. Um, this is because their servers are hosted on AWS servers. If you look at the AWS server list, you can see that they have lots of different server locations. Uh, more than what's in the Fortnite uh, server options. Uh, but you see, it wasn't always like this. Because if you, if you go back to when Fortnite was first released, during that same time period, the, the, server, the servers that were in Fortnite match that of the AWS servers. So so back in the day, like like the AWS servers, they don't they didn't have this many locations. It used to be like just like the the servers we currently have, uh, not including the central servers obviously. Like it used to have the same server locations, but over time they added more and Fortnite did not add add those new servers into their game. So um but yeah, because but over the years, the AWS server locations list has grown exponentially. And because of this, Fortnite now has the resources to add a lot more servers. Now I will explain why Fortnite might have made the decision to force NA East players and NA West players to use central servers for tournaments. The reason for this is because of the way that earning, earnings works. Um, you see, every server has a different budget for earnings based on their population. For example, if you get, you will you will get more earnings getting first place on Europe servers compared to getting first place on Australia servers. This is because Europe has a higher population, so Fortnite gives Europe servers more budget in tournaments to accommodate for population, because higher population, you know, less chance of getting higher 
up those leaderboards so it's a lot harder therefore you know more money to compensate for that extra challenge that you have um uh, now you might start to realize now why adding another server would be such a problem because okay so all of the servers right all of the server the tournaments right the, uh, when they create a tournament right it has like a main budget like like a million dollars or something right and they split those into all of the servers with some servers getting more more budget than others uh, to accommodate to population like I just said but you might t start to realize why that might be a problem why adding another server like this would be a, s a problem because the more servers you add the more money that has to be divided between the individual servers meaning that people will get less earnings um, by a significant amount so if they're gonna do that then you know it's gonna significantly lower people's earnings so I assume Epic Games saw this problem ahead of time and came up with this solution. So you shouldn't think of it as of this change as Epic forcing NA East and NA West players to use central servers. Rather, you should think of it as combining NA East and with NA East, NA West tournaments instead. If you're into Fortnite competitive, don't click off the video. Just stick around for this next part. Unlike clicks, I don't think a lot of pro players are going to completely move and go to Texas in order to get lower ping. And because of this, I think that I can actually predict the next season's meta when this change takes place. Because you see, most players are going to have high ping in tournaments next season. I predict that as a result of this, the meta will shift towards SMGs and phasing exploits. Most people, you know, they already know about the stair phasing exploit, but there's lots of other easy phasing exploits that people don't expect when you use them for example some of my favorites you know include you know the pyramid phasing exploit and the door phasing exploit um and you know people don't really expect these when you're using them and i think that's the the, the meta is going to shift towards that but um anyways yeah that's about it uh hope you guys enjoyed this video but uh yeah anyways uh, peace